So let's get back to Lindy because again, Alt A got really, really wild, and then it didn't, and then yeah, it got that's... wildly restrictive. Yeah, it did. So the faucet turned off. Right? Yeah, that's what I like turned... to say. If you just think about it, it's like the the water's on and it's just going, going, and then one day it just turns off, and that's essentially what happened. I think that we are starting to see some of that in the. Uh, regional banks types of environments, certainly when it comes to commercial real estate, a little bit different this time around than residential. But nevertheless, when credit tightens, when that money supply starts to turn off, it does have an impact. And it's not just an impact, you know, one to one, it's a global impact. And so, you know, today, um, we have seen that if we go back to that point in time, I mean, I'm in Arizona, in Arizona, you know, we fought for number one to number two in the entire country with regard to for foreclosure, short sales, bankruptcy. So we were in the news and we let it. Mm -hmm. So back then, I mean, literally mortgage insurance companies left Arizona. They're like, yeah, we're out. We're FHA done. had to come into Arizona. Yep. yep. Yeah. 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 And again, I remember being a buyer. Um, so again, so, so 2010. I never lost a property. Uh, we're sitting with 80 units. Okay. All apartments, multifamily at this point. Uh, like I, I bought a house for 107. I sold it for 264. It goes to 300 and then goes all the way to 75. Yeah. I, right. So this is my market was down, you know, whatever that is, 75% or whatever. Yeah. But where I'm going with this is I tried to buy a, 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 a property, a, just a, a house out of the MLS. I went to a bank who had all our money, mm -hmm. decade long relationship. And they basically told me, no, politely, you're the problem. We're in this mess. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm the problem. Mm -hmm. Did you not see this? I, yeah. what do you mean? I'm the problem. So I go across the street to another big bank and they're not so nice, Kelly. Mm -hmm. They basically tell me to F off. They don't lend to investors. Yeah. So I, there was a, seven year period, Kelly, where I had to do private money or hard money because yeah. I could not. And this is when prices are, you know, 30,000 bucks. There yeah. was just no lending lenders. I'm, I'm convinced my opinion, because the lenders wouldn't invest to experienced in lenders wouldn't lend to experienced investors. The market went lower than it should. Yeah. I would agree on, on some level. And, you know, it's almost counterintuitive at that point in time, we had all of this supply but the lending was so tight that it was hard to get people, you know, financing to buy all of that inventory. So yeah, and again, they just today. refused. Yeah. They just said, no, 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 no. So yeah. guess yeah. what? If you, if they had all, if they had the assets, they could have just financed the ones they had. Mm -hmm. Right. I get it. I don't want to take somebody else's bad property, yeah. but darn it. I've got 17,000 of these. Why don't I try to finance them? And maybe half of them are okay. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was, it's just, Bad execution by banks 